Yeah, all right, so we just finished doing this flip, and uh, we're just doing the finishing touches where we're just putting the numbers on it. What do you think about this place, Father? Does it what? earn? Come on. Nah, fuck that. Yo, it isn't earn. Wait. There's somebody in there, bro. <gasps> All right, in this video, we're gonna be going through the flip that we just finished. If you watched the last video, you could actually see from start to finish how it looks. Check the link in the bio, the Zillow listing is there. After that, we went to a property that we purchased and we unfortunately had to evict the tenants. They stopped paying and we found some interesting things in there. So please, if you like the video, watch it, like it, subscribe because I need money. Thanks. Look what it says. What does it say there? Right. Yeah, Money. Bro. Let me lock down the premises first. Yeah. Anyway, the situation here is that we bought this place with renters inside, but uh, they weren't really paying the rent. They weren't doing a good job. So when you see something like that, but the house itself was worth maybe about a hundred thousand, and we got it for sixty. So we just came in here. Unfortunately, we have to evict people like that and make your 40 grand. What do you think about this place, Father? Wait, is that what? Is that an urn? You're right, the lady was staying here. No, she was staying here. Oh, that was closed. That door. Respectfully. Yes, what? Urn? Nah, fuck that. Yo, what kind of? Yo, it is an urn. Wait. There's somebody in there, bro. <gasps> they left ashes. <laughs> There's someone's, someone's dead bodies in there. It's kind of creepy. Yo, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, you know, it's a nice little bathroom. This is the half. Right? It's a nice little bathroom type shit. It's three beds, one and a half bathrooms. Huh? Right? Yeah, three beds, one and a half bathrooms. Yo, this is a big ass dining room. I didn't even see this when I, I when I walked through it. I told you this was huge. What? I told you this was because huge. Because they had a bunch of shit here. They had so much shit here. I haven't been upstairs. I've never seen this property in my life. It's my first time seeing it. This is the kitchen. This is a nice size kitchen too. Why are you in my face? And this is the what pantry. is this? Get in, bro. Wow. Why are you scared? No. Look, I'm just looking. Open it, bro. Get in. It's a pantry. It's really yeah, nice. it's just a pantry. This guy. Bro, he thinks he thinks we have a he thinks we have a prank show. <laughs> when we're running a real estate business, he's like, yo, yo, get in. <laughs> This is actually a nice house. This is my first time upstairs. Actually my first time. What the freak is this? Oh, what the fuck? This is huge. Bro, do you remember how much shit was in here, dude? Yeah. yeah. In here, Bro, I don't know how they cleared everything out. Yeah, I know. And I how know. they put it into their next house. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, it was boxes up to the ceiling. Yeah, this is the bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. Is there size or? Good size. This is another. This is another. Believe it or not, that fucking TV is gonna be a pain in the ass to take out. Look at that one. That was heavy. I got goodies. Oh shit. Where? Look, my mom's finding stuff. What, they left that here. Yeah, Miley. Miley, come here. She's happy. Come here. Anyone want pants? You always find something, Miley. She's our capital investor. She's the one who puts all the money. How are they living like this? Can't even breathe in here. Yeah, I have no idea, bro. The walls are yellow. Look at this. the bedroom. Oh shit, yo! Some a bomb's gonna go off. I'm telling you. They told me, oh, here's the keys, here's the rent. They were smokers. Of course, big time. Yo, you saw closet? The closet. What's it left and right? Could go from. Damn. Ma, look. A walk-in closet? You can fit. Walk in. You can fit in five Mexicans in there. <laughs> That's a bathroom. You don't need a big ass closet. Too deep. Oh, I'll just make a half. Yeah, half. half. And then yeah. all this. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's your mom. <laughs> Interior your designer. Mom? Should we hire mom? Yeah. I got her on payroll. Father, what do you think for Reno? Reno's house? Uh, this is a big house. I don't think you want to flip it. What? I don't think you want to flip it too. I was saying. <laughs> Yo, it's bad good. It's worth, bro. It's, 70, 75. It's worth, two, it's worth 205 at the end though. Oh, yeah? You don't see the backyard? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice for y'all. On Bismillah? On Wallahi. On Inshallah. Bro, on, on Wallahi, this sells for 205. Respectfully. And disrespectfully. Because <laughs> I don't care where the money comes from. Just buy it. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Miley? I don't know, because I want to do the other one, but I don't know if I'm going to do this one. But you're going to see the big blue one next, which is way better. Yeah, mom's going to love that one. Mom's going mom's gonna to love the mom, big blue one. Oh. That's cool, bro. Yo, 11. Yeah. This is what oh, your stupid dad does for a living. We just look at dumb houses. Mm -hmm. Cheese and eggs and what else is in there? Excuse me? Uh, yeah, these are cheese and eggs in the Where? box. The box. 
Which box? Hey. All right, this. Oh, no. No, come on, man. What the hell? What's your problem? It's more ashes. The ash is my ass. <laughs> well, there's a noise coming here. The bad the hell wrong with people. They're like, ooh, toxic. Ooh, poison. Let me see. Look. The box says poison, and I want to look inside. We need this one. Oh, yeah, you need that stuff. The oh, Yo, they're literally looking at shit to, to keep from this house. This is all gut. It's just beautiful stuff. Look at this. All right, so that? all right, so buy it off of me. Seventy-five thousand. Dead body. Family discount. And I'll leave the ashes. <laughs> Seventy-five. You heard him? <laughs> Seventy-five thousand, and I'll leave the ashes. I got white people. Well, that's the bad. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys saw before, we were going through this shit. It was going, you know, we were knocking down walls and putting up drywall, painting, whatever. And we finally finished. I mean, look how big that this space is now from end to end, okay? So here, floors to cover this entire house, about $4,000. Drywall this entire house, probably around like $3,000. We had to get new radiator, you know, things like that. This is this is a steam heat house. Steam heat, does that make sense? Makes sense, right? So here we got the quartz, quartz countertops. These countertops? It's granite on the countertop, not quartz. Granite? It's granite. Are you sure? Trust me, I know. Three thousand dollars. These cabinets, we got them from Home Depot. Sixteen hundred dollars. Appliances all together, twenty five hundred. We fucked up huge, or maybe I did. I didn't realize that this little gap here was only 25 inches. So I actually had to get a fridge ordered, but we couldn't, it, it stuck out up to here and then we couldn't open this anymore. So I had to uh, get a refund and then now I had to get a new fridge that's exactly here. Number one, those fridges are really expensive. 25 inch depth fridges, they don't make them everywhere. Uh, I was lucky enough that I found one really fast, pretty good, pretty good price. So I was happy with it. Also, Keep in mind, when you're doing your flip, there's gonna be imperfections. And the only thing that you could do is just get your team better. Push them, you know, bother them, blah, blah, blah whatever it is, but there's gonna be imperfections. I mean, I've already been walking through this property. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of like, maybe paint that fell on the floor or something like that. The new person who buys the home has to make their own touches. They have to make the house the way it is. But at the end of the day, we did 90% of the work. I mean. What this house used to look like versus now, I mean, it's, it's actually incredible. You guys saw that we had to, we had to kick out those squatters from uh, Mr. Kevin Mitchell had someone living here. Full bathroom, again, this was all redone. If you guys remember, like I said, I was in here once, I didn't add a mirror. I usually let the people add their own mirrors because people get picky. You know, you put your towel rack, blah, blah. And again, like I said, I don't think I mentioned it in my last video or ever. A lot of this shit you can get on Amazon. Hardware, things like this. Hardware, hinges, these little uh, door stopper boners. That was loud. You can get it on Amazon. And I would honestly try and get as much shit as you can on Amazon. Outlets, switches, stuff. And these are really heavy doors, doorknobs. We just got another closet underneath the stairs. I'm not crazy about putting carpet on the stairs, but it gets the job done. So this is real nice though. I love this. Why don't you see this? Yeah, that's really good. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is real nice. This is a real piece of wood. I'm saying actually really did a really good job. Yeah, I think I'm saying did a pretty good job. But um like I was saying, I mean like when you finish your project, walk through it with your contractor again and point out the things that you did that they did wrong and that's it and you guys move on. Just want us to get better so we can grow as a team so that way the house sells and I have another project for you. If I sell it and I make money then you're gonna make money. That's just the way it is. Or you make money and I get fucked. I'm very happy with the house. Overall I'm very happy especially because of the status of what it was at. It was in a this place wasn't livable. Literally was not livable. I mean, this was like a dump. And when you come and I get, I get it, I understand. People be like, oh, investors are coming to gentrify my area and blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but the, the place was unlivable, bro. Like we do what we gotta do. Yeah, we're making, a, we're making like some money, but at the same time, it's like I'm adding value to the people that live in the area that are working hard, that want a nice place to live in. Shower heads, Amazon. Toilets. I actually have to poop. 
uh, towel rack, come over here. See here, you know, put like some shampoos, soap, maybe some extra towels, etc. You know, wash. This is a this is a really cool like washer, wash your hands kind of vibes. Uh, I got this on Amazon. It's like twenty dollars. Let's keep walking. Oh, towel rack. Uh, another decent sized bedroom. Uh, I think who's gonna buy this house is probably gonna be a pretty medium sized family. Someone who probably has two kids, the wife's pregnant, and the, pre the pregnancy was an accident. Um, and the dad doesn't even know if it's his. Remember I told you guys this wall was all the way up to here? And as soon as you came up, it was like there was a wall here. Now it feels huge because we moved this wall back and now someone could, literally someone could put a chair here, sit down, put their shoes on. Someone could put a mirror here. I mean like. It's options. Yeah, there's options. I, personally for me, and I guess it's just like, just the way I like is like, I would put like maybe some art here, a mirror here, you know, make the, make the place nice. <laughs>